trip was on schedule, and everything had gone according to plan. Ben, Peter, Isaac, Cameron, and Paul all sat in the control deck of the ship, looking over the controls to check to see if everything was normal. It was only a few weeks until they were scheduled to make contact with the Alpha Canturi, as the ship's computer told them that all systems were well. The five went to the dining area and got their dinners. About midway through, a little buzz could be heard from the back of the ship, the kind that usually meant power failure to one of the many components. A simple fix in the day of the age, so Paul got out of his seat to check it out. As he stood up, his head banged against the low lamp, creating a great sound and hurting a great deal. Paul grabbed a bottle of pills as he was leaving. The buzz became stronger and stronger as Paul got farther from the ship, higher and higher in pitch, and it happened more frequently. By this time, Paul realized that the component failure had been in. It was too late to fix. The main airlock had failed. A tempest of sound and wind formed in the ship as all the air was being violently sucked out. It was a miracle that Paul was so near the emergency personal assistance capsule, or PAC, as it was usually called. A sort of spacesuit which delivered all the necessary substance for the human body in case they are needed for a very long amount of time. Paul grabbed it and forced his way into the emergency cabinet, which had its own airlock. He got into the spacesuit quite slowly. It slowly dawned on him that he was now alone. There was no way that the others were still alive. He decided to take the spacesuit off and open the bottle of pills. Over the next few hours, he stayed alive in the PAC's food sacks that could be opened outside if needed. When he had taken the last of the pills, which he was taking in excess need of them, trying to dull all the senses, a sense of mania began to set in. He wanted pills. He needed pills. Paul slowly doned his suit and opened the door. The main lights had failed, and the whole strip was now illuminated by the eerie krypton neon lights, which glowed a deep, rich blue. In his mania, Paul could not remember his way to the ship. All of the medicine were kept securely in baskets around the ship. However, the caps had been ripped off and the contents pulled out. A good portion of them stayed in the halls flying around the airlock. Paul first worked his way around the airlock, occasionally seeing something out of the corner of his eye. He found that the manual airlock closed quite easily, sliding shut securely. Not that it mattered, anyway. As he turned around, he witnessed a gruesome sight. The others, all halfway into their PACs, which hung near the dining area. There were many sets all over the ship. They were quite near death, but somehow were kept alive by the PACs. They all approached Paul, and he ran in search of more pills.